In today's video, we're going to be going over how to set up and use variable fields. So this is building off of the last video that we did on templates. Variable fields can make them much more powerful. So if you've been following the quick guides, you'll notice that just down here, I actually included a few examples. I'm going to be using these in the video so you can follow, on, follow along exactly as I'm going. First and foremost though, however, I do want to show for everyone who did not watch the template video what a basic template looks like, and I'm going to do that through the Dragon Pad. Open Dragon Pad. So you'll remember that we created a Medical Normal template in the uh, template video. Medical Normal. And so this one here is straight text. If we wanted to change anything, we would actually have to manually go through and change it. So those are, gr are great for something like normals, but if you have reports that change or something you need to fill out a little bit differently each time, that's when the templates come in very handy. So we're going to quickly get rid of this, and then we're going to go create a template with variables, and I'll show you how they work. Select all, delete that. I'm just going to minimize drag and pad quickly. So we have the two templates here, one with text within our square brackets and one that doesn't have text. So anything within square brackets is going to be considered a variable field. You can choose to put text in there or you don't have to. It's important to note that if there is text in there, you may choose to leave it or you may overwrite it. However, it is an all or nothing. You cannot uh, pick and choose certain words. So first and foremost, I'm going to create the first template here. And if you recall again from the template video, we can simply highlight it and go make that a shortcut. All right, so I'm going to call this one template one. We're going to remember to train it. Template one, template one, template one. So we'll click done. I'm going to go back to Dragon Pad here template one. So you'll see that it brings up uh, blue in between the square brackets there so we can put anything. Uh, you know whether I wanted to fill out the report correctly patient states no change since last week period. Next field or you know you can put absolutely anything you want so I can simply speak into it and anything I say will be captured where the square brackets were. Uh, so you can simply do that. Uh, you can use them any way you want. Uh, but the more more powerful feature is when you actually fill the text. The the more powerful feature is when you actually fill the square brackets with text for fairly standardized reports that only change a little bit from patient to patient. So for that, I'm going to get out of the Dragon Pad, go back to our Word document, and I'll show you with that. So here we have template two in the Quick Guide going to highlight this again and go make that a shortcut. So it opens up into here and I'm going to quickly go under my command template 2. We're going to train it. Template 2. Template 2. Template 2. So now that we've trained it we can go ahead and run it. So I'm going to open the dragon pad again open Dragon Pad. And we can go template 2. So if you read in the quick guide, I changed the second field just as an example. So that's again what I'm going to do in the video here. So under general here, if that's all correct, we can simply go next field or we can use a button on our power mic. But under neurology though, the patient has reported headaches and dizziness, so we can change this one patient reports headaches, mild dizziness, and slight numbness, period. So we're able to change the neurology one while leaving the rest of them alone, and the psychiatric is still correct, so we simply go accept defaults. And it will remove the brackets around that, and we're able to continue through our templates that way, and we can save lots of time. So the last thing I want to show you is very quickly how to add those into a template. So if we go under tools here and add new command, whenever you're typing in the content box, you're going to want to simply click on the variable button there and that will create the field for you. If you do want to include text in it, you simply type it out and whatever is in between there, 
uh, the two brackets is what will show up on your screen. So that's a little bit more about the templates and on variable fields.